Okay, good. So, hello and welcome everybody to our monthly webinar for Joint Venture Europe. Today is the 6th of November 2014 and I am certainly asking myself where the time has gone since we started in summer. It's just flying by. Um, that's a good sign though because, you know, time flies when you're having fun, right? Um, you guys know that at Joint Venture Europe, we have this metaphor of the bees that are small in and of themselves and they don't look so powerful, but actually when they come together and they join as a team, they create a huge uh, ripple effect in the world and um, keep our crops and flowers and trees pollinated. So that's a powerful thing and that's the whole idea behind a Joint Venture Europe is that Teamwork makes the dream work. That's, that means that we are a group of um, online business owners, coaches, trainers, consultants, and other people who are working on their business, trying to get um, their message and the thing that they do to help others out into the world and to make a living for themselves while um, bringing others forward. So good that you're here. Welcome to tonight. Um, we're a small group this evening. A lot of people um, depend on watching the recording, I think, and that's why they don't show up and it's kind of late for them. I understand that. I have jet lag like crazy and I've been literally sleeping between each meeting today, including the hour leading up to the webinar. So it's a, it's a late hour and all the more we appreciate for you coming. I'm going to hand over the microphone to Susanna Rohr to give herself a quick introduction. She is my co-founder of Joint Venture Europe and the pretty lady you see uh, with, with her beautiful glasses. So it's Susanna. It just, uh, actually, I should call you Shelia tonight. <laughs> oh yeah, that would be very, very nice. So it's my, my obvious name. So I'd like to wish you all a warm welcome to our webinar. And my name is Susanne um, from SusanneRaw.de. I live in Germany and have my own business where I support solo entrepreneurs I assist them in gaining more customers and developing their businesses and gaining consistent success on and offline, specializing in marketing support and personal development through coaching. Thank you for that introduction, Susanna. I hear I, I hear you a little bit um, uh, softly, but I don't know I don't know I don't know why. But if it's because something changed with me or with you, but um, did you guys can you guys put your hand up if you also heard Susanna just uh, a little softly? Did you have difficulty understanding her? Can you put your hand up and let me see that? Okay, uh, Mara okay. did. Okay, okay. So, um, yeah, I don't know what's going on there, Susanna, but um, we'll we'll check that afterwards. Thanks, guys. You can put your hands down. Okay, my name is Shelly Stevens Versig. I'm the virtual coach from ShellyStevens.com where we teach experts and teams how to bring their expertise online and reach more people. And uh, as I mentioned before, um, Suzanne and I together came up with this concept of JV Europe and we are leading the initiative together. And we are your co-hosts for tonight's webinar. And we want to dive in and see how that looks. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my web camera um, just so that we can be sure that everyone has got a smooth experience and it's not sucking up too much of your computer information. So let me just get rid of that. Just a moment. Yeah, there we go. That's good. Great. All right, so let's talk about the agenda for tonight. So the agenda tonight, we're going to do things a little bit differently than otherwise. We're going to come. We're going to talk about some JV Europe news, which is normal. Um, tonight we have skipped the JV pitch, um, and we we're going to do the member flirt, but one of the flirt members isn't able to make it tonight, so we're going to almost um, smoothly jump over to JV school. Um, where we're going to be speaking with a special guest tonight, Marit Alka, who's come to be interviewed and talk about um, a JV partnership that she had recently and um, what we just want to talk to her about, what experiences she had and how easy it is and how, how quickly you can decide to get together with another person and make something bigger than the sum of its parts. And I think you guys are going to really enjoy uh, seeing what she set up with um, with Sandra Heim and I hope that it inspires you to start thinking about some ways that you can also be um, joint venturing with other people and how easy that can look. So we're going to do that tonight. That's going to be the primary piece of the webinar. So we're going to make it a shorter night tonight. Um, so 
yeah, we'll just get started with that. And then, as always, there's an opportunity for feedback, ideas, and support. And I see that there are no new members tonight. Otherwise, we would, um, at the end of the webinar, go into um, information for new members so they could hear about tonight. We'll skip that tonight. So it's going to be short and sweet. So let's have a look at um, the JV Europe news for this month. And it's basically this. We have started JV Europe in the summer of this year with the intention of doing a pilot phase through the end of December. So after tonight, uh, we have one more monthly webinar within this pilot phase. And Susanna and I are going then to begin reflecting on the experience that we've had and on the value that we've created. And we are going to be coming back to you all and the people in the Facebook group to ask you what value you've gained from um, coming to the webinars of doing the flirts. And we're going to decide after that whether to continue on with this format or with another format or if at all. So just so you know, um, that pilot phase is coming to an end and we'd love to get your feedback and input on uh, what has happened so far and use that to model um, our ideas about how we want to move forward. So if you would like to participate in the questionnaire, we'd be very grateful and that will probably be coming to you within the next two weeks. So time to flirt like you mean it, <laughs> but we're going to do things a little differently tonight. Like I said, uh, Sandra Heim was going to present herself and her business, but she couldn't be able to make it tonight. So we are going to um, start with Marit Alka from Coaching Produkte in Vika. Um, I'm going to turn Marit's microphone on. Marit, can you hear me? Okay. Yes. So you can hear me? Yes. Mare. Okay. It is it not, not possible to give me a webcam because it's a bit, a bit irritating for me not to be seen? Oh, ah, <laughs> okay. At the beginning. Sure, no problem. Let me see. Let me see. If, let me see if I can do that. I think I. I think I have to make you an organizer in order for you to do that. Oh, okay. If it's too complicated, let it be. Uh, let it. It's okay. <laughs> I don't think it's too complicated. Um, why don't we give it a try and see what happens? What do you think about that? Just let's try that real quick. Fine. Um, so, so moderat, I just have to look. Um, okay, I'm going to just put you over there in our group. Okay, and you should now be able to see the web camera. Do you see it? There she is. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so it's because this photo here is, I think, six years old, and so I should show you my real face. <laughs> Good. Um, yeah. Um, Thank you very much for inviting me. Uh, I just nearly forgot it that you invited me, I think, in September or something like that. Um, and so you remembered me and said, okay, you, you and Sandra Heim showing about, uh, talking about your joint venture project. I would rather say cooperation, small, mm -hmm. like, ma small, smart marketing cooperation, say it like this. Small, okay. smart marketing cooperation. I like that. Yes. <laughs> I'll go, I'll do, yeah, just wrote big, just creative little part of uh, or thing of, let's think about what we can do together and how we can uh, sh uh, create win-win-win situation for me and her and our clients. Win-win-win, it's for win. Win-win-win-win. Okay. Awesome. Well, Mara, maybe maybe you can start out by telling us a little bit about who you are, about your business and who you serve, just to get the conversation kicked off. Mm -hmm. Yes, my name is Marit Alke. This is how I speak it. <laughs> Marit Alke. It's uh, difficult in English. Um, yes, I'm serve uh, my my blog is called Coaching Product and Wicker. It's uh, basically developing or creating coaching products. Um, yes, and the idea for this blog was uh, or um, yeah, sorry, I haven't spoken in English for eight years, something like that. Um, I'm uh, uh, formerly I was a blended learning. Um, consultant for bigger companies like Bayer, for example, uh, the Aspirin company, and uh, Lufthansa. It's a big, big uh, company in Germany too. Um, yeah, telling or showing trainers and personal developers how to create like longer learning phases or longer learning processes, integrating online learning phases. So, um, and. For me as a freelancer, when I um, started to work as a freelancer, solo freelancer, it was difficult to get uh, the, um, yeah, the, the, how do you say it, <laughs> the um, 
with the work I would like to work uh, to do, like uh, creating learning processes. And so I decided, when my uh, second baby uh, came, uh, I decided to uh, do a blended learning, but for people who pay it themselves, like yeah. for private persons. I called uh, called this wesentlich. Um, what's the English word? Oh my gosh, I have no uh, idea. <laughs> the main. It's uh, like, really the, it's like the main thing or the most important thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, it was a field where I didn't have any expertise in because I was a blended learning consultant, you know, learning consultant. But I decided I want to use this concept that I am able to to implement and to to um, tutor, act like a tutor, and um, help the people in this training course uh, to give this for a, a topic that I like, and not only uh, leadership and um, yeah selling things to other people so uh, and this worked it was really <laughs> really I was really surprised that I was able to sell uh, 10 uh, places and or 10 um, seats do you say like this? Yes, places, seats, seats, seats in this yeah. program yeah. that was worth uh, over thousand over thousand euro yeah. uh, even if I didn't have any um, visibility for this topic yeah uh, and this was something like okay I must think about how can I use this um, thing or this uh, uh, <laughs> insight yeah. that this works for me and my business. Yeah. Okay, and then I had like one year of thinking and seeing what other people do on the internet, um, learning about internet marketing, and then I said, okay, I must bring this together. I am able to create learning processes that work and I'm able to, to implement internet marketing for me and myself. Okay, and then I decided I st I'm starting a blog. <laughs> to, I, I know in, Eng in the English speaking world this is a normal topic, uh, creating coaching programs, creating membership um, areas or things like that, but in Germany this was really weird. <laughs> yeah. Everybody pioneer said, work, oh, right? Pioneer work because it's really yeah, new. Yeah, really pioneer. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, after the beginning, I, I thought, okay, this is really something that people would like to read on, and I had, I think, 200 readers after, you know, I, one month or something, really short time, only four um, top, um, posts, uh, and the people shared it and showed it everywhere, and so I said, okay, this must be, this is my niche, so I would like to go deeper in this, and now it's one and a half year, a little bit more than one and a half year that this blog is running and after half a year I started my first own coaching program showing single or solo entrepreneurs like uh, consultants, trainers, coaches, mostly coaches that are advanced working in their field for a few months or, or a few years already uh, asking themselves what can I do, what's the next step, how can I get my business to the next level yeah. not only work for myself and um, yes, um, trading like hours for money but how can I change that and, and um, leverage that and scale it Yeah, and uh, this first program <laughs> was sold out after two days or three days I had ten uh, seats there and they were sold out after a very short time uh, yeah, and this is now the third time that I'm starting it. I'm starting it in uh, three three days, and next Monday, starting again with over 30 people. Woohoo! Susanna is uh, on board. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Um, Congratulations! Cool participants. I'm, yeah, and this is what I do. Sorry for just using so many words, but <laughs> no, that's perfect. I've spoken about it in English. That's perfect. Um, Mark, can you maybe like put your microphone up front a little bit closer to your mouth because it got a little bit quiet, and then every once in a while it would get louder. Can you say? Can you say something? Better oh, okay. like this. A little bit better? more. There you. That's better. Thank you. Okay. So, 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 Mark. You have Coaching Produkte in Bitcoin, so developing your own, your own coaching programs online. And you have this mm -hmm. course that's very successful. It's filled up three times, and you're moving forward with that. And on your way um, with your blog and promoting your program, and, and you have a group, I know you have a group on Facebook as well, where you have like hundreds of people in there that you, you guys exchange information all around uh, that topic of creating online programs. And yes. You do a lot of interviews as well, interviews for podcasts and for webinars where you're invited or you invite other people. And you get approached quite a bit 
by other people who also, you know, they're looking for corporations and ways to spread their word as well. And we want to talk about tonight um, one particular person who approached you and what kind of was created out of that, like not even planned, but it just kind of took on its own life and, and got, got formed and happened. And <laughs> yeah, and I think it's a, I think it's a really um, good example of you know, how easy it is to cooperate with other people. And, and like I said to the beginning, you know, just take two people and then make something far more bigger than, it, than its parts and have a lot of fun doing it. So I, I, I brought along, let's see if I have this school right here, just a second. So we're going to ask you some questions, really. And I'm going to pull up this screen right here. And this is um, a page for your audio course called, let's see if I can translate in this, um, in German it's called das eigene Business voranbringen trotz wenig Zeit. In English, mm -hmm. that means um, move your business forward despite not having a lot of time or grow your business um, on, a, on a short time budget. And yeah. this is a free audio course that you developed together with Sandra Heim. And my first question to you is maybe that you can just talk about before we get into this particular example, what role do cooperations play in your business today? So this is one of the cooperations. What other kind of cooperations mm -hmm. do you got going on? How important are them? To, are they to you? Mm -hmm. mm, that's not easy for me to answer, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, I'm quite finding my way in this. I have already not so good uh, uh, experiences that were not so good mm -hmm. in um, cooperating deeper and, and um, according to money also and selling one product together um, and so I after this experience I was like a little bit um, how do you say that careful say it like this so I'm always trying to find out in the beginning what's really uh, the basis what do we expect both uh, and what is yeah um, what's the bigger aim behind that and so after this one experience creating a big product together I'm only cooperating on a marketing basis also. Mm. and this is something that I really love and like um, yeah finding out what other people can do for my uh, followers for my readers and yeah vice versa you know, doing something good for the followers of others <laughs> and I really like thinking in creative ways of bringing this together in a really lightweight way, something that's really easy and not something that's, um, ne um, that needs a lot of time and a lot of money and um, yeah, it's complicated. So I think um, it plays a big role, yes, because after, uh, without this cooperation or so let's say um, this network, networking work I do, I would not be there where I am at <laughs> oh, oh, that's not a good <laughs> sentence. I would not be there where I am at the moment, okay. I would say. Okay, so starting with um, sort of a, co a cooperation where really you guys were working on uh, it was a, it was like a physical and digital product at once, right? Yeah, um, yeah, and really where it was with a, a publishing company and you guys, you know, it was being sold and that was that was a kind of a deep cooperation because you are like down to the nitty gritty, uh, yes. like talking about every word that that's being put on that on that product, and. Mm -hmm transitioning into more cooperations where it's all about marketing cooperations not so much as product cooperations yes. so mm -hmm. you know looking out for each other's list and bringing value um, yeah. to each other's followers which is this is what we're here you know at JV Europe that's what we're all about and I like what you said about it being lightweight because I know about you that your whole business is about being easy and uh, lightweight and <laughs> not being too heavy and, and you know overblown so mm -hmm. maybe maybe you can tell us a little bit about that because that's going to segue into the thing that you guys came up with okay yeah I think I'm really uh, freedom oriented and also uh, leisure time oriented <laughs> I got to know this part of me uh, um, very early in my career when I worked at a big company, big publisher in, in Hamburg and said, okay, I'm not made for this nine to five work here where I have to stay even if it's no work <laughs> or I have to stay longer because all the others stay longer and I can't say, okay, goodbye, I'm, I'm ready. Um, and so that there was a trend in the early 20s no? and then I decided, okay, no, that's not for me. I'm, I have to find out a way uh, 
yeah, circumstances in which I can work and bloom and, and really feel good. And so I said, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to study. <laughs> and one big reason for this decision was I wanted to find out how to work. And I really did this like a... Um, like a survey or something. <laughs> I worked for a professor as an assistant. I worked in a very small company um, with e-learning. Uh, I worked in a bigger company in the night hours. And so I, I tried a lot of things and a lot of money <laughs> during, my, during, during my studies. Um, uh, yeah, okay. And so now at the moment I'm always pushing things down if I'm realizing, oh no, it's getting too much. If it's getting too much, then I'm stopping the project. So I'm prolonging it and saying, okay, it's, I mean, I'm doing this uh, next month or next year um, because I don't want to work hard. <laughs> I would work smart, would like to learn it a little bit more because at the moment I, th I feel I, myself not very, not really productive, mm -hmm. but at least I'm, I'm able to only work 30 hours and earn uh, an income or at least this year this was an in income that I would have earned in a bigger company for 30 hours a week. You understand that? Yeah. yeah. That's not really a big thing, but it's enough for the hours I spent and the whole um, school holidays I had free and this is a lot of time, yeah. a lot more than normal holidays in, in a company. Yeah. And so yeah, this is for me success, you know, earning money, doing what I love and having leisure time and time for my family, my kids. And they yeah. are really, they are not, that they are four and eight years old and so I need this time also. Yeah, and this is my really my focus, and this is why uh, corporations, in a deeper sense, are not made for me. Because then I always have those obligations, yeah. and it's not easy to find somebody who has the same level of, um, um, yeah, of, of or the same definition of success, say it like this. Yeah, and the yeah. same commit, the same commitment to success as being having free time plus doing what you love plus you know, making, making your revenue. Enough. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know you, you like, I know you well, you, you fight for that free time for sure. Yes. I really <laughs> fight for this. This is really true. <laughs> Sometimes I fight with myself, but often also with the people around me and saying no to, to things that wh where others would say, hey, how can you say no? This is a really great chance. Yeah. And I say, no, at the moment I don't have the time. I don't have the, um, the free mind for this. And yeah. so I say, no, at the moment, not. I'm sorry. Yeah. And so on. Yeah, I'm really strict with this. Yeah, also, you, really with, um, you always ask me why I'm not doing one-on-one -on -one coaching. Yeah. I know I could do that, and I have clients, and clients who ask me really are big speakers and would pay a lot of money, yeah. um, at least at the same level where I worked before for bigger companies. Yeah. But I don't want to, because then I have obligations <laughs> <laughs> and requirements, and I have to stick to them and then their schedule, and I don't want that. Yeah, and you know, um, Say, saying no is a very good skill to have. I, I read a quote recently from Warren Buffett, you know, the richest man. I, I don't know if he's still the richest man in the world, but he was for a time. And he said, um, when asked what separates successful people from very successful people, he said, mm -hmm. the very successful people say no to almost everything. And okay. uh, so, <laughs> so you're on the right track, Marit. So, yeah. <laughs> so, but I want you to think back to a time when Sandra Heim from Mama Revolution, now Sandra's mm -hmm. not here, but um, I know that Sandra is on a mission to help mothers come into their power, to have influence in the world, to be independent, um, to have an awareness of what's going on in society and what effect it's having on, on, on their, them and on their children, and she's, she's really a, a a heart-centered, mission-driven entrepreneur, and she approached you and said, "Hey, Marit," and I thought maybe you could talk about like how you guys met, what what the original conversation was, and how you guys got to kind of talking to each other. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether that was she um, going on uh, coming to me. I think we got to know each other in Facebook, like mm -hmm. always. You know, we got to know each other deeper with comment commenting on the on the blogs and things like that and so I'm I, I was I'm not sure whether she was the one who, who took the first initiative but anything anyway um, it was she wrote me an email whether we uh, whether I um, would like to to write a guest post um, on her blog and vice versa and 
I think we just wrote two emails also and I said, okay, yeah, it's a good idea. I'm, I'm a mother entrepreneur, that's fine for me and I really like what she's doing and I would have needed it earlier on when my first son was younger. Um, but now I think I, I don't, I'm not in the stage where, where she is coaching. And I said, okay, yes, let's do it. And she wrote me I am, that she finds it fascinating what I'm doing and online courses and online programs and she would like to have an online program too and she's thinking whether she's uh, taking part in my course and my program in November. Okay, and then I had like a crazy idea. <laughs> I don't know how. Just in this moment reading this email and thought, okay, it, I can't describe it. I just wrote it. Um, Hi, Sandra, what about um, not getting to know each other by, by Skype, but n using this getting to know each other call to, to create your first course. <laughs> Just very easy and I think it's not, uh, you don't need my, uh, my big program because you only want to, she only wanted a course, you know, a, a self-study course yeah. and, and what I'm teaching is uh, programs that are really um, yeah, bigger, complexer and things right. like that. Um, because I think her, her topic and my topic relate to each other or, or like, like stages, you know, she's um, helping the people start or to start again after the birth of the, of the child and what I'm doing is uh, helping the people who are at the stage two or something that a little bit advanced. I don't know, I immediately had this idea, okay, let's, let's try this new tool that I bought um, which is, uh, what's the name, call recorder for Skype. Call Let's recorder for Skype. Yeah. For Skype, yes. And now you, I think it's a, a Mac tool. Maybe, and then maybe you can, Susanna uh, can write that in the in the chat box. Call recorder for <laughs> Skype. Because <laughs> they're going to everyone's like going to ask this me after. Out and uh, I think a week before or something, I thought maybe it's um, helpful when when I am interviewing the people because I know many people who know so much and have so much know-how and and uh, knowledge and thinking weeks and months about her first, their first courses. And for me it's really easy, you know, I, I can just interview and put it in a, in a, in a form, in a um, curriculum, in a, in a, yeah, in a curriculum, that's the right word I think, yeah. um, and put it into modules and for me it's easy, so why should I not um, interview the people? But yeah. I'm not, I don't want to do, want to want coaching, so I wanted to try it out. <laughs> <laughs> and this was my chance to try this out and on the, on the other way helping Sandra to create her first online course. And then we wrote another email, she was like fascinated and yes, 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 do that <laughs> without even having um, goals in our minds. So we didn't think about uh, what's the goal with this, something really tangible or something, just let's do this. Yeah. And so we um, had to put a Google Docs, wrote the, the modules down um, and this was why the idea is um, despite having um, little time because we wanted to to um, reach mothers and also other people who work in a part-time job or things like that. So people yeah. that normally say, okay, I don't ha really have the time to build a big business and we wanted to show now. It's not true. I built my business also uh, uh, having a two-year-old baby or um, toddler, how do you call this? Yeah, a two-year-old yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> boy. Okay, and so uh, it is possible to to go ahead in very small steps, even if you have, don't have the time. And this what, what um, yeah, um, quickly f um, came out as our main um, uh, message. Yeah. <laughs> and then we put it together on a, on a Google Doc, very easy, like half an hour time or something like that. And then we said, okay, let's do this. Let's just um, appoint, uh, do an appointment on Skype and speak about the modules and then start. Yeah. So you doing the first interview and the second one we just um, have a dialogue and then the third one I I was the interviewee, the one who was interviewed. Yeah, by that's her. good. The interviewee, very good. <laughs> so three uh, parts of an audio course. The first one was um, self-organization in a home office and, and despite having less time or a small time budget. Second one was using the internet for getting clients because we have a little bit different approaches. Yeah. She's um, gaining her list or um, building her list from the very beginning of her blog and I was doing this only for I think two months or, so, or yeah, since July, to, to, uh, since July and before that I built my list with um, webinars and, and corporations, marketing corporations. Yeah. So a little bit different approach and we wanted to show this to our yeah, 
listeners. And the th uh, third one was how to build your first coaching product. And I showed, okay, it must be big. It can be very small. You can just think of something pragmatically, what you can do with what you have, and even this little time. So this was the topic. And then um, it took maybe one hour more than a normal ac getting acquainted call. Yeah. Just this. One call um, recording the introduction and this is the first module and another call um, for the second and the, thir the third. And so we had this audio course that we can both use as a value marketing tool uh, and I can send people to her <laughs> and this already um, worked because she had a lot of, uh, she had a few people who said I would like to get to know you because I heard you in the audio course with Marit mm -hmm. and on the other way uh, the same people came to my webinar saying I heard you the first time in Sandra's audio course so yeah. we send people very easily not big masses but people sending to the other blog and if it, because it's not only one post but something that we can put here in the sidebar it's really um, yeah, timeless. Yeah, I can have it in, in the time by having value for my clients, for my readers, um, with a free audio course yeah. going here, yeah. and the same for her blog. Yeah, it's yeah. just timeless. Having in our sidebar this audio course, um, people can hear it. It's about one and a half hours. It's really yeah, time consuming to hear it. So it's not a mass um, tool. I would say not. Not something that everybody reads or hear, uh, hears, but um, yeah, at least something that that works all the time. And yeah. for me, um, it was okay. I think it's in, more interesting getting the people from her to me than the other way around because I yeah my my clients are more advanced as I said, and normally having kids a little bit older, you know, they have kids. Yeah. Um, age my kids and, and up, you know, right. school kids, and, and she's mostly working, I think, with mothers having small babies, normally, yeah. I think, yeah, and so it's more interesting from her to me, but I had her, um, yeah, launching her first course, and so it's balanced, right. it's very fine. Right, and I love that you're saying that because that's something that we talked about in one of our previous webinars at JV Europe. It's not about like you have the exact same size list as I do and it's the exact complementary audience and it's exactly the same, you know, balance. It doesn't have to be that way. It just has to be no. enough of a win in some way for each of you to feel like you want to participate. And Sandra got the benefit of learning really quickly how to make this uh, online course, and you got the benefit of people coming from her list and, and so forth. So, you know, you, you guys on the webinar or people listening today, you know, think about um, what are the ways you could create a win for someone else. It doesn't necessarily have to be your list. And we talked about it could be you have a different expertise to share or a different, a different you know, focus that you can bring to the table or other resources. You know, Marit talked about the technology that she had. I mean, just a simple tool like the call recorder for Skype, Sandra didn't know about. And um, here she goes, you know, off you go. It's a resource. So, you know, it's just something that you can bring to the table. Um, I really, yeah. I really like that. And what I wanted, what I wanted to show them, Marit, because, you know, what Marit was just talking about was, you know, she was able to place this uh, irresistible free offer on her website, and that's what you guys see on the PowerPoint in front of you. And let me show you what it looked like on Sandra's site. Um, looks a little bit different. So Sandra's branding is obviously Sandra's branding, and it looks different. And she, you know, chose to set it up a different way, but it's the same product. It just leads to Sandra's list instead of Tamarit's list. So that's the beauty of this type of co cooperation or joint venture, and, and as we are using it in this context, is that you know you might you might co-brand it, you might have your own branding, and each uses it. So it's it's basically up to you guys to decide um, how you want to do that. And I was talking to um, a client today, Marit, and she was you know starting to ask about. Um, so how do I, you know, build my email list? Like, and what do I need? Well, what you definitely need to build your email list, or what I would recommend, is an irresistible free offer, or otherwise called a lead magnet or an ethical bribe. And what I love about your page, Mark, with your blog, is like you have some different stuff, right? So you've got this 
one course with uh, Sandra, you've got um, an ebook, um, and I think even some other stuff that you did, like some other free courses, giving your audience um, a variety of different things that they might find attractive. And I'm sure you didn't build all of them overnight. You know, you just uh, you, you do one, and then you have the next idea, and you know, you just keep it moving forward. Am I right? Yes, that's true. It's really, I love these ideas and thinking a little bit out of the box. I, would, I wouldn't say I'm really creative and something, somebody with weird ideas, but at least a little bit not the normal, not only a blog post, not only a guest post on one or two on each other's blogs. It would have to cost, uh, by the way, nearly the same time, no? Just to create, for me, a creative blog post on her page and the other way around would have taken us two or more hours, at least for me, I, I need this time to write. And so it was really easy and we just spoke about something that m might be of interest of somebody else and said, okay, let's do win-win-win for us and, and the listeners and nobody had nothing to lose, no? at least a little bit of time, but um, I was the one who stopped her a few times <laughs> when she, she tried to be a little bit to perfectionism, mm -hmm. um, for example, about this branding. Now we talked about it, let's say a quarter of an hour or something, um, how we can do it, and we realized, or I realized very quickly, okay, we didn't, we, got, we don't come together. She wanted other things that I want, <laughs> and then we said, or well, I said, well, let's do it, everybody, them, um, how we want it, and now she's doing an um, email autoresponder. Yeah. Autoresponder, and I'm having it. Uh, I'm just having it on a um, site on my homepage, uh, and it's fine. Or I can show my clients, my readers. Let see, this are, is, this an, is an audio course, and these are two very different ways to um, deliver it. Yeah. So it's and now, and now um, again a value for me and my. That's how it, it works, so it can work. Well, I like that. I really like that, and. Um, Mara, you've you've done you've done quite a lot of corporations like we talked about in the beginning, from something really heavy to this you know smaller, lighter version. What what do you watch out for when it comes to doing a corporation about sharing the workload and the responsibility? Do you have like a, a rule of thumb for yourself, where you where you try to figure out um, a way to make it fair, or what did you guys do on this project? To be honest, we didn't speak about it. <laughs> we just started and said, okay, it mustn't be too much work. This was something where we were very clear about. That we don't want to spend a lot of work with that. It must be very easy. I and mean, if it's not easy, we stop it yeah. um, and use it as a podcast or something else or a blog post or I don't know. Um, okay, my rule of thumb is saying everybody that I um, no immediately saying when I realize it's not working for me. Just yeah. being very near to me and myself and saying really quickly, well, let's speak about it. Let's speak about what's, what's happening here, who has which expectations. Um, and yeah, I think I, you can't do it from the very beginning and say, okay, I'm only spending this time of time and <laughs> it's something that I decide, I'm deciding intuitively, I would say. Yeah, so to, just uh, like a rule of thumb, really. Okay, so just being yeah. just being really aware on the go while you're creating what's going on and being open in the communication and, and getting yeah. back to someone quickly. So, mm -hmm. so let's imagine that some of the people who are listening tonight are listening to the recording. They want to get started doing this type of a cooperation and they're considering working with someone else on, on a project like this, um, maybe a marketing project like you've done. What are some thoughts that you think uh, you'd like to give them on their, on their journey? Mm, it should be fun. <laughs> this is for me the most important thing. Um, it really should feel well all the time, or at least if it's not feeling very good for you, you should really talk about it and address it. Um, don't think too much about it, what uh, the value will be, what the goals will be, because something good will come out of it. <laughs> no? yeah. um, for, for another example is that I worked with Carrie Ress. I don't know whether you know her. She's also in the Joint Venture Europe, I think. Um, and we talked about, I think, yeah, about a, a webinar together. Mm -hmm. uh, something, a very, very um, small thing, doing a webinar together. And then I said, let's try something new. <laughs> I would like to try something new. Let's do a um, Google Hangout on air. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Um, and then I didn't dare to do it like live, but we did it before the webinar and, and recorded it, recorded a, an interview of 30 minutes. Um, and yeah, and this, for me that was more um, relaxed. I'm more relaxed not in the live content. You know, I see uh, <laughs> my cheeks are always a little bit um, boop, like this. And only Karen and me in this web in this hangout was okay. I'm fine. We're just talking, and we are both very authentic and nice and having really good, valueful interview yeah. on the. Um, so and this. Uh, after this, we showed it in a webinar as a as a video, and talked about it, chatted about it. I called it a podcast dinner, <laughs> <laughs> podcast webinar. Yeah. Uh, and this is something that brought to Karen a lot of more people in her list because they saw it, yeah, in my webinar and saw her. And now this YouTube video has a lot of um, interest also because it's yeah on YouTube. She's able to share it. I'm able to share it. And it's not a webinar. Um, uh, conference, this long thing, one yeah. hour and more, but it's only this half an hour, 20, 25 minutes, 27 minutes uh, interview. Yeah. And so it's another thing, but it's really, don't think about it too much, what it can bring to you. Just, if it looks like fun, if it looks like win, 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 or win, 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 <laughs> win, one more win for somebody else, then just do it. And, and um, if it's only marketing, only marketing and not money between you and the other person, just try it out, have fun, and uh, think on creative ways to create more value and more, yeah, attention also, because yeah. that's what we are dealing with now. Attention is what we, it's our uh, currency, let's say, like this. Yeah, that's so true, that's so true. Okay, so I'm writing this down in big letters, fun first. <laughs> Put the fun first, Get like take exp inspired action, uh, don't think too long about it, just get going and have, have some fun with that. That sounds really good. So, Marit, just closing words, like what are some first steps that people can take? Like, so because we here at Joint Venture Europe, we always encourage people to just do those, you know, virtual um, coffee breaks with other people in the Joint Venture Europe, get to know them. That, that could, for example, be one step they can take. Are there any other first steps you can think of them to take to kind of get connected with other people to cooperate with? So you think those first steps after getting to know each other? Or, or after as well, yeah, if you, want to, if you want to talk about after, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I understood your question like this. Um, yeah, what's, what are the first steps? I would say um, find out what your and uh, the other person's followers or readers might find valuable. So what, what, can, what can you do together? Where's the point in the middle of two uh, circles? <laughs> I can't. Um, where are you uh, this... You know, ah, intersection. It's the, it's, the so the two circles yes, intersect. It's the intersection. intersection. Thanks. <laughs> You're learning English again. Um, yeah. Where, where where do you have this? Where can you put together your knowledge and your thing so that both followers, uh, followers, followships can can um, value be, uh, benefit from it? I would say this is the first step. And then the second would be to to clear the expectations at least a little bit. No, like Sandra and me, we said, okay, let's do something. Uh, we don't have really big expectations. Let's just try to send people from my blog to your blog and vice versa. Um, yeah, spoke, speak about it. Don't speak about it too much because it's not depending on money. You don't have to lose very much uh, except for time. Um, yeah, and there's um, another step. What might be another step? Yeah, and then uh, hmm. <laughs> find out what you can. What form can you can you give this? Uh, who who wants what? No, who wants to build a list? Who wants to earn some money with it? And really cl be clear on this because if you um, realize in this early stage that it doesn't fit together, one person, for example, would would like to spread the word and make it really big and and make it a bis big list building event, and the other said, okay, yeah, I would just like to have something small on my side maybe it's not balanced this way and mm -hmm. find this out in a very early stage and then you can start I would say if you find this intersection <laughs> definitely definitely mm -hmm. thank you so much Mara this has been a very very interesting conversation and I think that everyone listening is gonna have uh, find a lot of benefit in it for themselves and I thought if we we have a little bit of time if anybody wants to ask any questions 
um, you know, raise your hand and I will turn on your microphone. Um, is there anything you'd like to ask Marit or myself about, you know, what she spoke about? Or if you don't want to talk, you can just write a question in the questions box. So I'm going to give them a minute to think to, think to themselves. Is it right that I don't see the chat? Yeah, I think, I, think, uh, I think, like I said, this, for some reason it's set so that when they write in there, it goes directly to the questions box. So I will let you know if something pops up, Marit. Okay. Okay. Did you, did you guys find this interesting and useful? At least let, let us know that let's, let's, by a raise of hands. If you found this interesting and useful, that would be a help to know. Hello? Is anybody there? Yes, Dorothea found. Okay, good. You guys are still there. <laughs> That's good. So <laughs> it was so inspiring. Thank so you. So, yes, Susanna. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> Susanna, what did you? Susanna, what did you learn and, and take away for yourself? Oh, a lot, because it was really inspiring. You showed me all the steps you did, and um, very important for me is don't speak too much. <laughs> so. And it can be also fun. This is really interesting. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, and more value and attention. Also, creating more value and attention is very important. Yeah, for me and my followers. Absolutely. Yes. Olga would like to say a word as well. Olga, you sure can. Let me turn on the microphone just a second. Olga, good evening. Yes. Okay. Can you hear me? We can hear you. Yeah, okay, great. Yeah, I just wanted to say thank you for sharing those and it really inspired me and it's just, I just actually got ideas and I'm so excited and I'm going to go because I, I'm, I'm also... I'm also <laughs> That's yeah, right. As you see, I am <laughs> one of those who was talking about the young mother we're trying mm -hmm. to build an online business, so mm -hmm. very resonated. But I speak to one of the people who also serve scientists, because I serve scientists, also mother scientists, mm -hmm. and we have fun with him chatting on Skype, but then he says, okay, would you like to write a blog post? And I'm like, oh, I hate writing blog posts, because I do videos for my um, blog, and I just got an idea, why don't we just record a chat? Yes. Yeah, much easier. That's fun, and it's going to be so much value for his audience oh. and my audience. So anyway, thanks for this inspiration. You're welcome. <laughs> welcome, yes. That's in the background. Olga, that's a great idea. And I, you know, I had a meeting with a client today, and she was kind of feeling like, a bit of a slave to her blog. She was kind of getting tired of writing all that text and we found out, you know, her unique brilliance is actually doing interviews and so we were like, you know, do the thing that you love, do the thing that comes easy to you. There's a lot of ways that you can create visibility, share information, grow your list, add value and it doesn't necessarily have to be text. It's not um, one way for everybody. So I, I like that comment a lot, Olga. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put her on there. Very good. And Dorothea Baltar wrote, great example, thank you, inspired me so much. And I know, I know that Dorothea is also thinking about creating her irresistible free offer, and I know she has an interview partner that might be interesting, so I'm sure that that was a really good example. Um, Marit, would you like to tell uh, the people listening like, how they can find out more about you and what you do, where they can find you online, and maybe Susanna can type that in the, in the chat area? If you work as, as a translator, <laughs> oh, okay. you can translate my text into English. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because at the moment I'm only working in German, and I, I think you you know now why, Shaya. You asked me whether no. I would like to work in English, and you see that it's really stressful for me, and more yeah exciting than work that than speaking in in German. Yeah, you can find me on my blog, which is Coaching Producer and Wickel. I'm also starting a podcast, or even two. <laughs> One together with Shelia is a, yeah. like really also this the thing. Now we we uh, realize okay, chatting for us over, um, about regarding topics like online marketing, online business, building up a, a business is really easy for us, and we're speaking about it anyway. So why shouldn't we bring it in a little bit of structure, um, give it a topic and, and uh, a theme, and then speak about it? And we're trying this out. Yeah. Uh, we also we already have two uh, episodes. 
Yeah. Um, uh, recorded, <laughs> and the other two next week. Yeah, and so I, I also starting to interview other people who have online courses or who can create value for my followers who are building their, their business with online courses and online programs. So yeah. You can you can find me on my blog, but uh, what I also wanted to say, perhaps as a, as a last word, yeah, because sure. uh, what you said, um, writing a blog, and for me it's also a bit exhausting at the moment. It's something I wrote a blog post every week, um, not stressing me out, you know. If I didn't have time, I didn't do it, but um, at least I try to do it one once a week. And um, yeah, after after a while, I realized it's not that important for me any longer because I have this platform now. People can find me there. They can find a lot of articles full of value, really long articles. I'm all only writing pillar articles. I'm not able to write small <laughs> things. Um, and so I have this platform and I can now spread from there and, and try new things like doing courses together um, um, at the moment, creating a course for Udemy.com. Mm -hmm. um, just to find out whether this platform can bring me new clients or new list entries. Yeah, um, yeah doing this podcast, doing more po podcasting us, you know, po um, video podcasts with, uh, and then speaking about it an, an hour or two later uh, publicly. Um, and, and those webinars are more important for me to build my list now, to build it further, because the blog posts, they are not shared any longer. They are not building that attention that I need. And so just to um, give you, Olga, the, the sense of it's not always the blog that you have to, 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 um, to use, but uh, create content in other ways. And so, uh, yeah, maybe easier ways. <laughs> yeah, and, and you yeah. Know, whatever, whatever inspires you, that's the main thing. And, and these things are, uh, they evolve over time. So you may start in one place and be re doing really well with that, uh, happy about doing it that way, successful doing it that way, and then over time, things slack off or you don't enjoy it anymore, you know, and have and have the bravery just to say like, okay, that worked for me for a while, but now I'm going to try something new. And, um, yeah, and it's not the leverage any longer, no? In the beginning, yeah. it was building my list, but now it's not, not new, but, um, there are not new, there are no new people coming to my blog yeah. because I have the readers and they are not sharing it this way yeah. I use, I yeah. need it because yeah. it's so specialized. And so I must um, think about it, what can I do to use my time to build my business? <laughs> and Absolutely. if it's not block writing, I, I'm still liking it, but it's not bringing me this um, input or this uh, output, this output what I, that I put um, effort in, you know? Right. It's not <laughs> okay. balanced. The I input you put in is not bringing the, the outcome that you want right now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that's a really good point. And that's so true because, guys, if you guys, um, you know, whether you're doing it by yourself or with other people, at some point you do kind of have quite a library of content after you've done it a while, and that just can be watched again, seen again, and uh, you yes. can move forward from there. So don't feel yeah. like a slave to your existing content. You can move on. Not at all. You can move on and you can re reuse it now because for Definitely. my podcast, for example, for my own podcast, I'm starting to read um, and speak about my old posts because yeah. they are still valuable, still still um, actual, do you say that? Yeah. Still, in, still up to date, still, up, still relevant. Still up to date, yes, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just reusing my content and I would, would like to put it in a Kindle ebook, all the blog posts, and so you can reuse it also. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. I love that. Thank you for those ideas, Marit. And thank you, everybody, for your flexibility uh, that we do things totally different tonight than we, than we usually do. And I thought it was uh, an awesome uh, change of plan as well. So, like, be flexible. Do, do what's, you know, use what's, what you have. And don't worry about it because it will always turn out well. So, guys, I wish you a great evening. Thank you so much, Marit. Thank you for Susanna in the background that I can't see anymore and the participants. Um, we'll get this um, recording up as soon as possible for everyone else. Um, if you have any further questions, you know, write, write us an email over on the Facebook forum. Otherwise, get flirting. And um, we will see you on the 4th of November, I think. If it's not mistaken, the first Thursday of December is what I want to say. The first Thursday of December for our last and final pilot webinar. Um, and like I said, you will be receiving uh, a questionnaire from us to get some feedback about the value you're getting from this group. And um, we are going to let you know soon after December how it's going to move forward. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, that's it.
Have a great night, everybody. Yes. <laughs> bye. Thank you. Bye bye, everybody. Bye. Bye bye. If everyone wants to stay on with us, I'm going to turn off the recording.